There's also one gallery from Ireland. Yeah. It's called Kevin Kavanaugh yeah. Gallery. Yeah. And we are now standing with Mr. Kavanaugh. You brought some works. You brought, for example, some uh, maps yeah, as artworks. Three artists, two Irish artists, and one of the Irish artists lives in Berlin. And I also work with a German artist called Ulrich Vogel. And he lives in Berlin. And I've been working with him for 15 years. And yeah. this is one of his works. Let's t go in front of it. See, it's a map, a map of Europe. Uh -huh. And what he does, he works. Well, he has worked a lot with different maps, and he makes, he he removes or adds uh, things onto the maps. And then he also plays around with the glass. That can be different. You can see in this example, it, the, the glass. Is it some plexiglass or something? No, it's, it's real glass, but it's 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 pixelated. It looks like it's pixelated. Yes just gives the impression so you can never really see the object. It also looks as if it were different height layers of the pixels, but it's all the same height? Or it's all the, I think it's all the same height, yeah. Okay, and underneath uh, all the effects of the Alps being higher, it comes from the layers of paint layers underneath. Of paint. Yes, exactly, and different, different colors. So he would color in different places just to make it look interesting. Okay, and that's not the only map he produced. There's also some yeah, other maps. Maybe we can just have a look at this. It's like a classical height uh, map, but it's, it's very, not. Like it's prefabricated, as you can see, like it's got the mountains and that. And what he's done here, the clue here is the cloth. So he's painted the map and then he's used the cloth to remove the paint. And so he likes the idea of hanging the cloth beside the map. It's just this, it's a, like his work is very playful mm -hmm. and humorous, but at the same time, Quite, uh, quite meaningful. It also works well together with the fjords of Norway and the yeah. layers of how the how the landscape shapes. But one more question: You're coming from Ireland, a long travel. Yeah. Was it worth to come to this uh, art fair in the center of Europe to have some different audience than in Ireland? Yes. Well, it's always good to, uh, as we say in Ireland, to get off the rock. So any time being abroad is, is, is generally a good time. And uh, we get some support back home from Culture Ireland that make it possible for us to, to travel to Berlin and spend some money here and you know, set up for a week because uh, it's expensive. But we have one Irish artist living in Berlin that we're showing next year and one very good Irish artist that we're trying to promote maybe get her a show in Germany, that would be fantastic if we could do that. That would be one of the main aims of the fair, is to meet other gallerists and to try and get our artists into working with other gallerists. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank Thanks. You Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>